A local food company is celebrating a milestone and hoping to expand. Let's get the latest now from Business First reporter Elizabeth Carey. From hot dogs to holiday ham, Salins Packing Company has been feeding the local community for 145 years with dozens of products, all made in western New York. We're just finishing up our 145th year, looking forward to 150 in five years. Company president Joe Salen has a lot to be proud of. He represents the fourth generation at Salen's. His children working at the plant on Buffalo's east side are fifth generation in a family business that's still going strong. There's not too many businesses that can say they've been around for 145 years, much less family owned for 145 years. Salen's has a huge following in western New York with many loyal customers, but Salen's says it took a long time to become the top dog in Western New York, outselling and surviving local brands like Shelly, Malecki, and Fry's, adding high-tech modern equipment, all while balancing volatile beef and pork prices to make 60-plus products. The more products you have that can fill the case, the better. While hot dog sales peak over the summer, they're about even with ham sales, which are steady year-round. Sale in Smokehouse Turkey is also popular. Sale in 50 employees will soon be churning out bone-in hams for holiday dinners. Western New York clearly has a taste for Salins, but the family has learned that it's hard to break into new areas outside the region that have their own traditions. So Salin is counting on Western New Yorkers to share the flavor with others across the U.S. We're trying to expand our markets. Uh, there's a lot of uh, dislocated and Western New York people that are throughout the uh, country. So we'd like to try and take advantage of uh, that via word of mouth. In the meantime, Salins is trying to score by reaching out on social media and with sports-related marketing efforts like the Salins Sports Park in Elma and Salins Stadium in Rochester. With your Business First report, I'm Elizabeth Carey.